guys, I am here today to put together my son's first twin mattress for his first real bed, which is actually a bunk bed kind of thing. It's the Kura from Ikea. We got a six inch memory foam mattress from Zinus because Ikea specifies it has to be really thin, like under six inches to be within the frame of the guardrail. So you have to get it really thin mattress, which is hard to find. So we got the Zinus, uh, which is here. My <laughs> hair. Um, I'll play our unboxing video and we took a few days for it to kind of like expand to its full thickness. <laughs> that we bought or were given for review to put on it to get it up in the bed. So first step is I bought the Allerzip encasement, which is a full waterproof encasement for any size mattress. And we got the twin and it's from seven to 12 inches deep. So it's a bit too deep for our mattress, but hopefully it'll work. And it protects against dust mites, allergies, bed bugs, pee, puke, anything really. It just protects your mattress completely. And I'm hoping it's not the rustly kind, so it seems like it's a very good material here. Um, it's quiet, it doesn't feel plastic. I've, I've, the reviews were good that it wouldn't be all sweaty and gross, so it feels nice. I already washed it. This is our first step. We're gonna just put it directly on the mattress. Boom. And the next step is our handy dandy quick zip sheets. We have these on all three crib mattresses and our queen bed. So when I knew we were getting a twin, I reached out to them, of course. They're my favorite fitted sheets. These are awesome. So they go on and then the top part zips off. So you don't have to take it off the mattress each time. You just zip off the top to wash it. It's so awesome. We got a second topper to switch out, like a really soft, uh, this is like a minky. They make like a minky, really soft one. So I think after it's all up on his bed, we're gonna switch out to this. And that's how it zips on. It's really cool. And he's excited about this, aren't you? Oh, he's so soft. Okay, and then we have an extra waterproof barrier. This one is also from Quickzip, and it goes under the zipped part, so right on top, and then it straps on. So if if he does wet the bed or throw up, you know, with a tummy bug or something happens, it should be a quick fix to change the sheets real quick. We'll just zip off the top layer, take this one off, and put a new one on, and then zip on a new one. Yeah, and done. <laughs> we don't have to take the mattress out or anything. So, fingers crossed that doesn't happen, but he's five years old, I'm sure. We're gonna have some tummy bug stuff going on soon. Cannibal! Okay, do you see what's happening here? Do you see what they're doing? Hmm. 
Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have another broken leg going on soon. All right. Are you ready? To, are you ready to put your bed together? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So this is the Ikea Kura and it comes with this cool tent that you can put, I guess it doesn't come with it, but you can buy it extra. We got all of ours second hand and it came with the tent, which is so cool. He feels like he's what? What did you say? Like you're camping? Camping, camping. Under the stars. Ooh, they're not stars, they're just polka dots, but it's really cool. And it gives them a little private space. Like my birthday. Yeah. Did you like sleeping here last night? Yeah, I loved it. Was it comfortable? Yeah. He slept the whole night, he didn't come to get me in the middle of the night. Okay, so now, show me your okay to wake clock. How does it work? How does it work? Okay. So there are some buttons uh, to light it up. This is how you set it, and you can set the alarm, and you can set the okay to wake. So basically, we put it on 6.30. So when it hits 6.30 in the morning, the whole thing glows green and he knows it's okay to wake up but at that not, time. But not the, this yeah. part. No, just this part here. Yeah. And if it's before that, he turns on the light. You can turn on the light and it's just yellow and it gives him a little bit of a light. Yeah. And there's also an alarm if you want to do the alarm, but we're not ready for that. And he also has a flashlight up here in case he has to go to the bathroom or he 
just shine a light, make sure there's no monsters anywhere. <gasps> and he's got a big pillow and some stuffed animals and just a little blanket because it gets hot in here. This is a small seven by nine room he shares with his sisters. And there is a heater right under the bed and this room gets kind of hot <laughs> in the winter. So he doesn't need a big, big comforter yet. And, and my sisters broke up the antenna. This minky quick zip sheet was so soft, huh? Yeah. Oh my gosh. And his Zinus mattress is also very soft and short enough that it's safe. He's not going to roll up. Oh my goodness. And his sisters want to come up. That is the problem. And All right. And the antenna. Oh, we got one up here and, now. Yikes. And I mean, my sisters broke off the antenna. <gasps> they did. Like, within a couple days of having this thing, they broke off one of the antennas. So, don't let little ones play with that. It's very breakable. Oh, Emmy's stuck down there. I'm sorry, girl. We'll be done in a minute. Yeah, we really shouldn't have more than one kid up here. That's what Ikea says. This is where my sisters are going to sleep. Yep. When you flip the Cura upside down, it gives you this huge open space so you can fit a twin bed down here, like a bunk bed, but one is gonna be on the floor. But we've got two toy boxes and Kenza's old crib mattress down here. Um, one of his sisters will sleep down here eventually. At the moment, we were just using it as a play space, but then when he moved up to the top, we moved his crib mattress down here. I'm not sure if it's going to stay here, but basically this is where I had to lay last night for the three of them to go to bed. His sisters never needed me to stay in here before, but Kenzo did. And he cried, Mommy! And then his sisters cried, Mommy! And I was like, Oh no! But I just had to sit in here for about 10 minutes until they all went to sleep. And then we had a good night, huh? Oh boy, who's up here? Urrrr, stinkers. Okay, we're gonna go. Bye, guys. Bye.